Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this look for you guys. I have done this makeup in the past. And I was like, you know what? Let me recreate it again with new products. And of course, I have I feel like I have gotten better a little bit over as time goes on. But I got this this time, you guys. Yeah. Lucy is coming in two months to Atlanta. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have my costume ready to see the show. I'm gonna go like this with my hummingbird costume that I made last year for Halloween, which is exciting. And I'll put some pictures of the costume that I did on here. It's in my Instagram. If you guys wanna see it, go follow me at Thaijibas or JRFXMUA. And you can see my costume before, but I am working on it to make it look spectacular. Anyways. If you guys want to know how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Alrighty guys, let's just get right into the tutorial. So I'm going to prime my face first using the MAC Prep and Prime. And next I'll be taking the Morphe M224 brush and I'm just sculpting out my eyes with the Ben Nye Clown White Light, like so. And next we're going to take our Morphe M170 brush. And we're just going to use the Ben Nye Cream Color in Sky Blue. And we're just going to drag it across our face like so. Creating almost like a mask sort of type of gig. Bring it down about where to where your nose starts. And then we're going to do the butt of the mask like so. And for the under the eyes... I kind of stopped halfway of where the eye is, if that makes sense. And then I just dragged it outward. Next, I took my foundation in caramel from the Ben Nye HD and the sponge, and I just went ahead and just did my whole foundation. Next, on this Morphe M425 brush, I took the MAC concealer in NW15 and it's a full coverage kind of concealer so you know how I like my full coverage and you're just gonna blend that out to the gods yes please and next we're gonna create a white line across the mask to give you that nice little highlight yes god And go ahead and do it for the top and the bottom. And once you have that done, go ahead and blend it out using a clean cosmetic sponge. You could, you're probably going to end up using a little bit more product just because it's, it's a fresh sponge. So it's going to pick up some of the product. So be aware of that. Next, we're going to contour our face using caramel tan. Before you set your eyes, you know, get rid of those crease lines. Set it with a little bit of powder. I am using the Derma Blend setting powder today. Be sure to go under your eyes. Clean under your eyes before you uh, set your face. Meaning, like, go back over it with the white as like we did with our eyes. And then just go ahead and set your face with that. Next, I took the MAC Emphasize uh, Shaping Powder and I placed it under my eyes, anywhere I pretty much highlighted. And then I took Shadester as my contouring brush, as my contouring shade, and took my e.l.f. blush brush to use that to contour. Next, I took the Morphe M213 brush and I used that to, you know, snatch my nose a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, hi as well as my Filtrum. Next, I took a little bit of Pinch Me Blush by MAC and I placed it on the apples of my cheeks like so.
and a little bit of highlight. Yes, God using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and Gleam and using the Morphe M510 brush. Next on this Morphe M208 brush, I took the MAC eyeshadow in Cobalt and I used it across my whole face, Hi, across the whole mask. And you can use nylon to go over that to give you that nice little shimmer and um, around across the whole mask. And then I took the uh, Ben Nye white eyeshadow and I used it around the white. <laughs> Next I took the Morphe M504 brush and I used cobalt and I started on my outer corner of my eye on the crease and then I worked it towards the inner corner and next I took that same brush and used electric eel and it went just below cobalt like so and go ahead and do this for both eyes of course duh next I took a little bit of Atlantic blue out the outer corner of my eye the crease yes go on look how beautiful this is and then using any small pointed brush I used a MAC black track gel liner and I uh, carved down my eyes to create a waterline I found out that using the Morphe uh, M443 brush is a lifesaver so I'm gonna start using that instead of that brush and then using the Morphe M149 brush I smoked it out with a little bit of contrast eyeshadow by MAC after I finished that, both of my eyes, I took the MAC Mixing Medium and the Ben Nye Cloud White Magic Cake and I filled in the white parts of um, the eye that's left and then set it with a little bit of powder so that won't go anywhere. Hene. Next I took a little bit of MAC uh, False Lash Mascara, I think that's what it's called. And then the best part, the accents. Everybody loves accents like oh so I took the duo eye eyelash glue and I just created some little circles across my face let that dry used Amor Prohibido by Maxelina on our lips set it with a little bit of powder so that sucker won't go anywhere and then once the glue is nice and ticky tacky dry Press that in and be sure you press it in. Be sure to get into those nooks and crannies on your face. You're gonna peel. Bing! She is stunning. So go ahead and finish it off on the whole face. Or anywhere you pretty much did. There's so many different designs. Um may the best design be in your odds favor <laughs> me trying to be funny <laughs> I'll go home and next set it with a little bit of setting spray and you are done